Brian Carissa is lucky to be alive. He's at a public hospital at the coastal town of Malindi. He was bitten by a poisonous snake and referred here from another health center that had no antivenom to treat him. Hospital officials say there are about 10 such cases every month. Some people don't survive. Doctors here don't use this medicine they have from India because they say it doesn't work. So every time there's a patient, they order supplies from a private snake farm 30 minutes drive away. It will be very important to us and to the patient if at all we could be having the antivenom at the facility. Yeah? But again, uh, due to the reason that the antivenom is very expensive, they decide to keep it themselves there. So it has really been quite a challenge. At the Biocan snake farm, one of the directors is extracting venom from a cobra. The farm mostly supplies a South African vaccine producer, where it's used for research and production. The park then buys the antivenom back from the institute to supply several hospitals in Kenya. Kilifi County has some of Africa's most venomous snakes, and the Pafada is one of the most common. A victim can die within three days of a Pafada bite. That's why not only having an effective antivenom drug, but also getting it closer to the people who need it most in remote areas is so important. Tens of thousands of snake bite victims in Africa die or lose their limbs every year. Yet the World Health Organization classifies this as a neglected tropical disease. And only about 20,000 vials of antivenom are produced annually. What has happened on a negative side is there's a lot of, I would say, either inappropriate or substandard antivenoms that have come into the market to fill the void. It doesn't make sense to bring an antivenom here that is not made from snakes that are here. People who live in villages far from health centers are most at risk. James Charo Muramba lost his leg when he was just 13 because it took too long for him to get medical treatment. 28 years later in 2015, Mapenzi Juma and her little sister's father was killed by a snake. When he was bitten, he came home running. My mother took him to the dispensary, but there was no medicine. So they put him in an ambulance to the hospital in Malindi, but he died before he could get his antivenom shot. Back at the Malindi hospital, a new patient has just been brought in. Onesmus Kombe's hand is already swelling. The bite marks are clear. He is lucky to receive the right treatment at the right time in the right place, unlike hundreds of others who either can't access or afford the medicine. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kilifi County at the Kenyan coast.